is concerned as it is. Okay, uh, moving on. The obstructive jaundice is a type of jaundice which results from obstruction of bile to the duodenum from the biliary tract. It is also known as mechanical, polystatic, or surgical jaundice. Okay, before we proceed, this is a brief overview. Like I've told you, prehepatic, hepatic, and post-hepatic. Prehepatic jaundice is mostly caused because of breakdown of RBCs, like those diseases which cause a breakdown in RBC, like uh, malaria or different kinds of infections which ultimately lead to increased cell burden, hemoglobin breakdown, and which cause. The second type is hepatic, which may be caused because of some problem inside the liver. It could be due to viruses, as you know, hepatitis, uh, A, B, and so on. Uh, various drugs, it could be due to uh, cirrhosis, alcohol, you know, Anything which can destroy the structure of the liver can cause a hepatic jaundice. Now there comes this uh, post-hepatic jaundice, which is mostly dealt with by us in surgery. As you can see, the bile flows down, and if there is any obstruction in its flow, then it may cause an obstructive jaundice, right? It could be because of any stone slippage. It could be because of any uh, carcinoma causing obstruction. It could be because of carcinoma head of pancreas. You know, many, many causes in the post region which can be uh, uh, corrected surgically. This is a brief diagram of the physiology or how it's really caused. In the jaundice, your unconjugated and conjugated both can rise, right? What happens in post-hepatic jaundice is that, as you can see, um, there is a process of conjugation inside the liver. There is your bile which gets uh, uh, conjugated and the body can excrete it as an unconjugated and the conjugated liver. How it's going through, I'm sure you all of you know from your previous years, first year and second year, the physiology of bilirubin. This is just meant for a revision and how, as you can see, that this, this bilirubin which is being formed, it is from, through the bile canaliculi. If the duct is blocked, which could be due to gallstones, pancreatic or angiocarcinoma, liver failure or whatever, it causes increase in pressure and further on this duct gets blocked. So it ultimately leads to obstructive jaundice. This is a brief diagram of uh, how the, the obstruction causes the jaundice. As you can see, this is your right hepatic duct, this is your left hepatic duct. This is your normal biliary anatomy, right? So uh, your bile is produced inside the liver, bilirubin bile, bile flows down through the right and the left uh, hepatic ducts to the common hepatic duct. From the common hepatic duct, it sometimes gets concentrated from, through the cystic duct in the gallbladder and then bile gets concentrated in the gallbladder and flows through the common bile duct. Pancreatic duct sometimes joins the common bile duct or opens up directly in the duodenum. So it could, in some cases, it opens in the common bile duct. In some cases, it opens directly in the duodenum. Anything which obstructing this flow, as you can see over here, anything obstructing this flow is can cause an obstructive flow. Now, what could be they could, as in any obstruction, there could be intramural, transmural and extramural causes. Intramural are those which is inside the wall, right? Like a CBD stone, which is most common, or parasitic infection, like ascariasis. Sometimes uh, a round worm, it goes inside, blocks it as well. It could also cause. Clonorca sinensis is also one of the major causes of jaundice as well. So these are mostly intraluminal, Causes, right? So, if anything is obstructing 
obstructing as you can see over here this is intramural this is intramural right which is inside transmural something which is involving the wall like a cholangiocarcinoma any stricture now strictures could be benign as well as malignant uh, benign strictures are usually formed two years almost one and a half to two years after any biliary surgery and uh, in any case of obstructive jaundice whenever you are taking the history it is important that you ask about any history of uh, surgery on the gallbladder like a lab cholecystectomy two years after a lab cholecystectomy the patient can actually get a trans due to the transmural it can become a stricture transmural is through the wall right the wall gets affected so it's a transmural causes you can apart from stricture which may be benign there could be uh, malignant strictures as well in those above uh, 60 years of of age any stricture which is present is considered malignant until proven otherwise 90% of the cases the strictures tend to be malignant in elderly age group right then there is polydocal cysts polydocal cysts are important because uh, they may predispose to cholangiocarcinoma right ca of the liver so that is why it is important right so these are the transmural causes Just I have just mentioned three over here. So they they could be more, right? But these are the the most common ones that you will encounter. Then there are the extra luminal causes. Extra luminal is something it which is pressing from the outside, right? If something is pressing from the outside, it causes extra luminal compression, and because of that, there is obstruction in the flow of the bile, and you will get an obstructive sound. It uh, includes Uh, CA head of pancreas, periampullary tumors, lymph node, Merizzi syndrome. What is Merizzi syndrome? In some of the cases, your gallbladder may actually like erode through the wall, and that stone can actually go inside the intestine and further on aggravate symptoms, which may cause obstruction. Right. And accidental ligation of common bile duct. This is most common during. Uh, surgery in lab coli or open coli cystectomy sometimes the cbd which is in front can be ligated as you can see in i have this in this diagram if you ligate this common bile duct it would cause obstruction and uh, this will lead to obstructive jaundice so it is also one of the causes is an accidental ligation in lab coli cystectomy you are supposed to ligate this cystic duct but by accident if something happens and you ligate like this common bile duct it could cause an obstructive jaundice because naturally there would be failure of the bile to flow down and reach the duodenum and further on okay so that is why it is important to know these causes in a while now i have further delineated in causes based on the level of obstruction there could be proximal obstruction there could be distal obstruction in proximal obstruction there could be biliary or there could be extensive in biliary there could be cholangiocarcinoma polydocal ichthyosis which is known as the gallbladder stone which goes inside the common bile duct gallbladder cancer malignant stricture malignant masquerade it mal like something else which is you know presenting itself as malignant merizzi syndrome Perosing coronary, hepatic neoplasm, extra hepatic mass lymphadenomas. These are all causing proximal obstruction to it, right? Distal obstruction, cholangiocele, polydocal ichthyosis. A stone can be impacted in the proximal or in the later part as well. So it is, uh, it can be called as a uh, cause of the distal obstruction. And the biliary structure, as I have mentioned, in quite a bit. Then we have extrinsic compression, periampullary neoplasms, pancreatitis. Pancreatitis is also a very common cause, which may cause uh, uh, this obstruction and may lead to problem further later. Now, what are the clinical features? As in, you guys are in third year, you mostly will be taking the history. Now, the patient will be presenting of a obstructive jaundice will be presenting with the 
yellowness of eyes where where will you see or see or will the, the in history you you ask the patient or patient tells you right but on examination you will see the sclera of the patient to find out for the jaundice the patient will complain of yellow discoloration of eyes or he will complain that somebody else is saying that you your eyes have turned yellowish so that is important right so you should know that he should present with why there is skin irritation because your bilirubin pigment when it goes in the skin it causes irritation and the patient will be presenting of with or he may be complaining of severe itching there would be itch marks on the body as well so you should know that it is pruritus as well the urine would be dark the stool would be pale and there will be abdominal pain on and off for example if there is a stone which is impacted but if there is a cancer in the head of the pancreas there might not be any pain at all it would be painless jaundice the if further on if you classify there are painful and painless jaundice uh, most the uh, malignant jaundices are painless unless they cause any obstruction further on and you know involve other uh, nerve endings as well it would be fever with rigors as well in those cases in which the patient is having cholangitis cholangitis is when your bile gets obstructed and because of that there is infection inside the bile and it ultimately leads to fever so that is it anorexia you will feel you know like in the cases of hepatitis the patient does not have the urge to eat same will be the case in this patient as well it would be weight issue of weight loss most in cases of malignancy there would be vomiting as well uh there uh, could be a history of pre existing hepatocellular disease as i have already mentioned to you gallstones can recur it may cause stricture as well so you need to know about the history of previous hepatocellular interventions and all that apart from this you should also know the drugs the patient is taking right and any other causes of hepatitis of uh, causes of jaundice which may explain the signs and the symptoms okay now uh, apart from this for ex- in clinical examination you would be seeing the sclera of the patient you will be seeing the general habitus of the patient there would be scratch marks on the skin he may be having fever when you will monitor his fever he, when you will monitor his vitals he would be having fever he might have fever and apart from that uh, you will see there will be scratch marks on the skin and of the abdomen there will be abdominal pain upon deep palpation there would be tenderness there is a law which is known as uh, murphy's law which is present in acute polycystitis in which there would be pain upon deep inspiration by palpating in the right hypochondrium i think these are the things which you will uh, further on in your uh, when you move on to fourth year and final year you will know more more Uh, at this point i think you just should know what are the causes of obstructive jaundice and uh, what uh, how can will the patient present any uh, questions i would more than glad to answer Uh, you guys can uh, unmute yourselves